Dietitians have called on Nigerians to adopt a healthy lifestyle and dietary modifications to prevent the onset of non-communicable diseases, including cancer, diabetes, respiratory tract infections, and cardiovascular conditions, among others. They made the call at the just-concluded three-day program to commemorate the 2024 World Registered Dietitian Nutritionist Day. The event with the theme Beyond the Table was organized by the Association of Nigerian Dietitians, Lagos State Chapter. The guest speaker at the event, Dr. Obina Ubuna, Deputy Director of Dietetic Services at the Obafemi Awolowo University Teaching Hospital, said that death from non-communicable diseases were on the increase. What happens after you eat? So that's the aspect we, we are concentrating on this year, that your lifestyle and your dietary modification is important because we have more of more com non-communicable diseases around us now. And the death that comes through non-communicable diseases in Nigeria from the British uh, Medical Research Council uh, report, uh, 2022, 32% of the deaths we record in Nigeria is as a result of non-communicable diseases. So because of that, we have identified that your lifestyle and your eating pattern or eating style could be a predisposing factor for you to develop those uh, cardiovascular, I mean, non-communicable diseases. We identify cancer, diabetes, respiratory tract inf uh, infection, and uh, the last one is uh, diabetes mellitus. All these four have been recorded to be very grave, grave if they are not controlled. He urged Nigerians to consult dietitians for dietary patterns to prevent certain conditions. Dietitians are getting prominent places because we are, we are moving, medicine is gradually shifting from curative to preventive medicine. So if you want to prevent all these diseases, it's better to prevent. Prevention is better than cure, like we used to say. So you need to prevent these diseases before they get into you. And uh, food plays a very vital role in prevention because to boost your immunity for you not to have that disease, you choose the right food with the nutrients it will help to curtail you having that disease. So we have to visit the dietitians. The dietitians will help in curtailing and giving you counsel and be able to modify your dietary pattern so that you have the best and you eat well to keep well. Also, Mrs. Jesse Umwankwo, president of the association, urged people suffering from different conditions to seek proper nutrition for better treatment outcomes. She also stressed the need for more registered dietitians at the primary health care centers to cater to the vulnerable. Right now, we have a lot of dietitians at the tertiary hospitals, which is teaching hospitals, at the secondary health care, which are the general hospital. The only area, then private hospitals, so few of the private hospitals, we have dietitians there. It's only at the primary health care uh, level. That's where we are still having problems. And that particular level of uh, primary health care is very, very important to us because they are very closer to the grassroots, which are the vulnerable, the pregnant women. You see them, they say they went to primary health care center. And then the children, zero to 12 years, you see them, they say they carry them to the primary health care center. So those places, we have the acclaimed dietitians and nutritionists who have felt they know Shebi is food. We can just tell them what to eat. But it's not just food. You must be able to understand the condition of the patient. Have an evidence-based knowledge of how to manage the condition of that patient, especially in the case of these vulnerable groups, which are the children that cannot talk, and then the pregnant women. That's where we are really having problems. Nutrition is now the language of today. Nutrition is the key now. As in, and one of the take-home for today is that let the food be your medicine 
and your medicine be your food. So I just want to encourage people generally to utilize and make use of their registered dietitian nutritionist and consult them for any health related disease condition that have to do with diet. So it's very important that people consult their dietitian for them to have an expert and holistic management of all the disease conditions, especially non-communicable disease. Other activities at the event were free blood sugar and blood pressure checks, body mass index screening, nutrition education and assessment, among others.